Ladies and gentlemen, today we are taking a stab at the legendary classic tuna melt. We're gonna be making this a couple different ways and when you find out how much flavor and how much protein we can pack into one of these sandwiches with this few calories, it literally just might make your head spin clear off. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. This sandwich is legendary in certain parts of the US. If you've never had one, then it's safe to say you've been missing out. So let me show you the way, come on. Arguably one of the most important parts of making a diet friendly sandwich is making sure you choose the right bread. Some bread is gonna have 100 to 100 150 calories a slice, but when we do it this way, and we use 45 calorie bread, that's drastically gonna cut down on those carbs, those calories, but still give us the full bread experience. It's not the bread that's making you fat, it's the calories. My preferred brand is the Sara Lee Delightful, but there's a ton of other brands. Your grocery store should have something very similar to this. So what I'll do is go ahead and lay out four slices of bread, and keep in mind, we will be making the sandwich a couple different ways. If you're just making one, all you need is two slices. Now we'll just move our bread to the side, grab a food scale and a small bowl, and we'll begin with making our diet friendly tuna salad. What I like to use for tuna is this 25% less sodium wild caught light tuna in water packet. I know that's a mouthful, but when it's in oil, you're adding a lot of calories and fat. And anytime I can take less sodium, I'll do that simply so I hold less water and my weigh-ins are more accurate. So what I'll do is go in after draining this and weigh out 37 grams, which ends up being about half of one of these packets. And then once the tuna's down in here, I will go in by hand and just break it up a little bit. Sometimes in those packets, you get little chunks, so to make sure the whole mixing process goes good, I'll just go through and separate it a little bit. And now the fun begins. We start building our tuna salad with 24 grams of fat-free mayo. Regular mayo loaded down with calories and fat. When you use this, you get all that mayo goodness with literally less than 10% of the calories. Now we're gonna add 15 grams of sweet relish, but this is the no sugar added version. This relish right here has zero calories. Next, we wanna add five grams of Dijon mustard. Once again, this is a zero calorie food. Then last, about a dash of salt, dash of pepper, and a dash of parsley flakes. And then once all of our ingredients are in the bowl, we're just going with a spoon and mix everything together until we have creamy anabolic tuna salad. And now we're ready to assemble. I told you guys in the beginning we'd be doing this two different ways. So because of that, I've prepared two different batches of our tuna salad. One will be doing open face in the oven and the other is more like a grilled cheese. Starting with the one going in the oven, I'm just gonna take my tuna salad and spread it on top of my bread, which I did toast so it holds up. Toss it in the toaster for a little bit and you're gonna be just fine. And we will be spreading this evenly across both slices of our bread. And then once our tuna salad is spread on each one, we're gonna add a slice of fat free American cheese right on top. And if you can't find fat-free American Velveeta cheese, the American slices only have about 10 more calories. Now the open face is ready to go in the oven. So we're gonna move on to the one we're gonna make in the skillet. What we wanna do is grab some, I can't believe it's not butter, zero calorie butter spray, and hit the top of each of these slices. And then once we do that, we'll give one of our slices a flip, and then we'll add a slice of our fat-free American cheese. Then we just spread our tuna salad on top. And then finally, I'll place on my other slice of fat-free cheese, put the bread on top, and now we're ready to cook. Now starting with the skillet one, this is easy. You just gotta get in the same mindset as a grilled cheese. Hit your skillet with nonstick, place your tuna melt down inside. I'm gonna just let this cook for three to five minutes each side, depending on how fast you're cooking it. Wait for that cheese to melt and we're gonna be in business. And when it comes to the open-faced melts, all we're gonna do is set our oven to broil and toss this on the top rack for three to five minutes until that cheese is melted. Super easy and super quick, super delicious. <laughs> Boom. And you guys just saw how easy this whole process is. Eating delicious, good foods does not have to be hard. Throw a few simple ingredients together, do a couple things in your kitchen. You can be eating like a king or a queen, all well. Build muscle and losing some weight. And if this recipe intrigues you, don't forget I have a ton more recipes in my anabolic cookbook and right here on my channel. This breaks down every single recipe that you can see on this channel and an easy to use guide to fish right in your pocket. What do you gotta weigh out? What do you gotta buy? What are the ingredients? Everything you need. And if you get this thing one time, you get every future recipe I add to the channel for free because the thing just updates. So it's not one and done. It's literally, you get it once, you get the whole future of this channel and all this goodness. This diet is the most important part when it comes to losing weight and building muscle. So when you have this, I don't really think you can fail. Link down below in my description. I'll see you guys when these are done. All right, baby, both of our tuna melts are now done. We got the grilled cheese style, and we got the classic open face. Keep in mind, you need to keep an eye on that broiler. <laughs> it is so easy to burn things, it's not even funny, but if you watch, you'll be just fine. So let's just go in and cut our tuna melt right down the middle. Boom, and 
baby, would you take a look at that? Anabolic tuna salad, melted cheese. This is smelling absolutely incredible. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Anabolic Classic Tuna Melt. We got the classic one that we just made like a grilled cheese, and then we have the one that we did open face, which is meant to be eaten with a fork. But personally, I just like to stack them on top of each other and cut them into a sandwich. The crazy thing is they both have the exact same ingredients, calories, protein, everything, except making them this way, you end up with almost two different sandwiches just on texture, feel, and even the taste. Not only are these simple and easy to whip up, but when I read off the protein, the calories, the macros, everything in just one of these sandwiches, it's gonna blow your mind. Real quick, before we get to trying these out, smash that thumbs up button for me if you've enjoyed the video, if you've learned something or gotten a helpful tip, maybe an ingredient or something you can try in a future recipe you're doing. Comment below if there's something I could have done to this to make it that much better, any tips or tricks you got, I'm always trying to improve, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Now, before these get cold and that cheese starts hardening, let's give these bad boys a try. Hot dog, let's get down to business. But before we get to the meat and taters, we still have some of our white chocolate fruity cereal crunch anabars in stock. I'm telling you, if you like good food, right? You don't like the typical diet stuff, the regular protein bars, things like that, then I'm telling you, you take one bite into this thing, you're not even gonna know it's a protein bar. You got my word on that. Final, boxformance.com. Put RGF10, will save you 10%, and I'm telling you, you try it out, it's gonna be the best thing you've ever had. Protein bar wise, oh my goodness. Just don't go spilling it like me. All right, baby, we are gonna start with the grilled cheese version version right here. Mm, mm, mm. Let's go. Three, two, one. Guys, I know some of you might uh, not think this is gonna be a good combination of food, but this anabolic tuna salad alone has so much flavor and it's just, it's unique, but like in a good way. I was never a big tuna salad guy before, but this is rocking my socks. It's basically everything you love about a grilled cheese, but there's that creamy tuna salad right in the middle, which is sweet. It's got a hint of that Dijon. You got the mayo texture in there, hint of that parsley. Ooh, I'm telling you, I tried so many different combinations to get the perfect anabolic tuna salad. So even if you don't try the sandwich, you gotta just make that and try it, spread it on something, use it as a dip, crackers, dip some celery in it. I don't know what's good with it, but you gotta at least try that and I know you're gonna love it. Now, we're gonna try the open face one. I'm gonna tell you guys honestly which one I think is better. This one was broiled, the bread was pre-toasted, that old chestnut, let's see how we go. Mm. It's literally like I'm eating two different sandwiches. This is still good, but it's just different. If I have to pick one though, I think the grilled cheese version is your best bet. But the open face technique, if you don't do it like I did and stack it into a sandwich and you spread it out on a plate, you eat each one with a fork and it's gonna slow down how fast you eat it, which there's a lot of little mental tricks when on a diet that you can do to like stretch your meals out and make them last longer, and that is one of them. But to be completely honest, they're both amazing, so I wouldn't kick either one out of bed. Now M, just one of these sandwiches, if you make it exactly how I did it, which you end up with for the entire sandwich, is only only 213 calories, one gram of fat, 24 grams of protein, 27 grams of carbs, six grams of fiber. For me, those macros are perfect. We kept the fat low, we get 24 grams of protein, we get six grams of fiber, only 27 grams of carbs. That's an easy one. That's a really light meal. So right now I'm eating two of them. Like I preached before, it's not the bread that's making you fat. It's not the sugars, things like that that are making you fat. It's literally the fact that you're eating too many calories. You eat the amount of calories you need in a day and you get that protein high, your weight loss is gonna be optimal. You're more likely to hold on of the muscle on you and burn the fat off for fuel and the whole process just becomes way easier. This is phenomenal. Oh my goodness. I know it's hard to believe me sometimes because I'm literally making the recipes, I'm eating them, but this is unlike anything I've ever had before. It's it's unique, but in an, it's so good. It's unique, but in an amazing way. I'm gonna polish this off while we're at it. And ladies and gents, we got the final bite. Let's get it. Mm, oh my goodness. For me, this is an easy, and I mean easy, 10 out of 10 recipe. You make this for somebody, you give it to them, they're gonna have no idea that it was healthy, lower calorie, had some fiber in there, was high in protein, they're gonna have no clue, which is the goal of a good diet. So I understand that when I do recipes like this, they get less views, it's not as fancy as a pizza, a crazy dessert, something like that. So these always don't perform as well, but if you can help me out by hitting that thumbs up button, leaving a comment below, maybe telling a friend, subscribing, that helps uh, these videos that have phenomenal Phenomenal recipes, but aren't as flashy, do better. And it uh, means a lot to me when you do that. So I appreciate you. And for more insane, underrated, healthy, high protein recipes, check out my cookbook, link down below. We are over 200 pages now. This thing just keeps growing along with the channel. You guys uh, making that jump with me, especially when I first launched it. Those of you that invested in it back when it was teensy tiny, I appreciate you because it's motivated me to just keep unlocking these diet secrets. So keep in mind, if you do got it already, it's been updated. So this recipe is now in there. So go grab that updated copy. Ooh. After those two sandwiches, 420. 26 
calories, 50 grams of protein. I am completely stuffed. So I'm gonna end this video. Thank you guys so much as always for watching. Couldn't do what I do without you. Leave your uh, suggestions down below on what you wanna see me make. I get so much inspiration from that comment section. And yeah, don't forget, you need to go get yourself an Anabar. Cause if you love these recipes, I know you're gonna love this. Appreciate you guys. And uh, until next time, I'll see each and every one of you at the next video. Later guys. Boom, baby.